Welcome Damn. to this week's episode of the podcast. I am one half of your, um, what am I today? Beds made, motherfucking Sholo <laughs> Um, uh, Joined by half of my <laughs> host. Uh, I'm the interior set decorator, uh, half uh, Diego Bertrand. Hello, I decorated this. Although, I don't recognize this side. Don't recognize this fucking thing. What is that doing there? Oh, that's Hikama's toy? Triceratops? Hikama's Triceratops? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hikama How did that get in there? there? Is that... Hikama runs the show. Triceratops Hikama, guess, on the... Philaptoratops? <laughs> Triceratops <laughs> on the countertops? That's so odd. <laughs> Ugly. So Ugly. Where's think. Hikama? Did you have Hikama on set today? Oh, we did for a bit. Great. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Great, great, no, great. We, we didn't have Hikama. I don't know how we actually have that. Is that just from there? It's been here. Silent. No, because when... Oh. Uh, we're, no, you must have been here for that episode. Yeah, when was Hikama was here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm. that's to keep Hikama entertained. Did we ever talk enough. about that? Yeah. I. It has perturbed me. What a dog is doing when they're chewing on a bone is it like scrolling tiktok they're not masturbating is it like oh it's not euphoric for them yeah it is. is it like solving a rubik's cube for them is it like because i they go ham for a long time and i'm just on like on a bone yeah is it just is it stimming or do my dogs have adhd and they're just like they're they have their Whatever you call them, it alleviates boredom and satisfies their <laughs> urge to chew. My dogs are bored around me. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I would have thought it's like the Rubik's cube one. It's like it it's solves like, depression. <laughs> yeah, it solves depression and anxiety, and it's like um, the Rubik's cube. I thought it would be a Rubik's cube thing. I don't know. I had a, uh, I had a studio teacher when I was filming in Vancouver when I was like eleven, and. She said her cat was on antidepressants and that there was like, for dogs, I guess they can chew bones, hmm. but she was like, my cat is so depressed living in Vancouver. Like no ball of yarn, oh. no toy is, is solving this. My cat, and I guess like cats in Vancouver, like jump out windows, like is the weather so dark all the time? Damn. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Sorry, I don't know why. I just thought, I, thought about that when money goes huh. to depressed dogs. Maybe think it's depressed cats. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely anxious dogs. I wonder... Do you think dogs are born anxious? Like a dog is born an anxious dog? Or do you think they inherit that or absorb that from their owner? I think it could be a bit of both. A bit of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far Perhaps does nature some... versus nurture play like, into the aspects of someone's personality? Yeah, like for example, Mosca, my... Miniature Schnauzer, oh. I believe, is anxious because miniature Schnauzers historically were bred to be really vigilant to alert the German shepherds, yo, there's someone around. I got to yap and get the bigger dog around to sick them. Mm. So um, we need to reverse that and um, get that out of the dog. The, um, how it, like, gene wise, what it was bred to do. We need, yeah. I don't know. It's just such a. It sounds like, I mean, I love baby to an extent. She does yap a lot. It just reminds schnauzers are hard to have. It reminds me of Marcel and the Shell, where the Shell's like, "What a sad way to express your excitement, like just constant yapping." But (laughs) it's okay because I'm thousands of miles away from my dog. And now I'm... Are you going to make Hikama to Atlanta? No. No, I thought you were. No, dogs are inconveniences when you have to work. It's okay I... when you have like a house that they can just chill at, but at the house that we have, there's nowhere like... There's no yard. To go out safely for the dog. Yeah, that's true. And I'm not going to take the dog to set and be like, can the closest PA help watch my dog? Or can it just be trapped in my room? And watch Disney movies? 
or watch whatever. Like I at the house, I put they have a. I mean, you called it. I put the Disney. They have like an aquarium <laughs> thing, like an an uh, um, faux aquarium, uh-huh. and the dogs don't give a fuck, bro. They, <laughs> really? There's like what? I, mean, I don't. I don't think dogs. Care about fish? Videos of like dogs watching Bluey and being like, what? I don't believe it. I'm like, <laughs> that seems. You see Blue's Clues and they're like, Wait, I feel so know? represented right now. <laughs> I never see a dog on TV. Oh this is God. crazy. It's, it's like they're on dog TikTok scrolling at dog veterans coming home. Like, oh, oh my God. This is great. But yeah, what have you been up to, bro? How was, how was last week's episode with Gianni? What did y'all, y'all get into? Oh my it. gosh, it was so great. I actually hadn't seen uh, Gianni in... In a, Since we did the last episode with Gianni. No, 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 no. Dude, <laughs> actually, the last time I saw Gianni was at your freaking Blue Beetle premiere. That was a secret that we didn't go see Blue Beetle. Well, I mean, now. During the, not during the strike. Um, but it was good to see him. <laughs> it, was, it was very, like, we had to get our, like, unhinged conversations out of the way first, which I'm curious. Yeah, we have, like... I heard two bonus episodes worth of content yeah. that will never be allowed to come out. Of explicit you guys just... content. Of shooting the shit content. I w- huh. I wonder if... Do you guys, like... Are you vulgar or crass in that way with your other friends? Or is it something with Gianni that you're just like... You I, don't even, just, I don't even know if it's... Up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's vulgar. I think he's just super down to just follow a joke that's weird and just keep making it weirder and he's really good at that and i love he did something where like i'll say something weird or out of pocket and he goes what that's crazy and then says something that (laughs) one ups it like like you you like this game because that's that's normally what happens yeah he's very good yes yeah johnny's great at improv he we were talking about um off pod we're talking about like different things we're writing um He's just he's just a funny kid, man. He's a really funny kid. He misses you. He says hi. Um, he's stoked to play Magic in Atlanta. Dude. What? One of the homies got all their magic cards stolen out of their car. <gasps> what? Free, free my homies magic cards, bruh. Were. Oh yeah, bro! Can you imagine? Look at Jacob's face right now, dude. I'm no, devastated no for him. Yeah, bro. No, only because like you spend so much time, like making your deck, trading for them. Yeah, trading oh. a card, getting a foil, opening a pack, getting a whatever. Yeah, bro. So just Where if you're out there, bro, if you're living in the Los Angeles area. And you have your magic cards in your car. Take them out of your car. Wait, literally all of them? All of them. They took, yo, they took. <laughs> oh my God. They took, it's like. They said, he said to text in the chat, he goes, they took the quarters out of the door. <laughs> 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 yo, they stripped them. They stripped Dude. his ass. Holy shit. They the took quarters the quarters out, out of the door. door? Yeah, bro. This is just college living out here. Okay, that's kind of funny though, actually. They took the quarters out of the door. That's wild. Yeah. And he was, but the thing that sucks too is that like, sure, hopefully, I mean, hopefully he gets his cards back, but chances are someone opened the bag, right, that they were in, opened it, saw cards. What the fuck? Throw these away. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's just like uh, what do you call it? No, I mean that's a good. I mean, <sighs> but, like if you open that thing, do you really think I gotta flip these? Whoa, magic cards! Can't wait to sell these. Like, well, if you don't know what they are, where would you even go to try to sell them? Throw them on offer up. I mean, just throw yeah. them up anything on offer. Maybe we should just look on offer up. We probably find the damn cards. No, we did. I looked. We didn't. Oh, I mean, we didn't find them. But I, oh, you did look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked for the bag. I looked for other things. I looked for just like. Quarters, it's random. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> dude, that sucks. Yeah, but I mean, we'll bleep it. But <laughs> Jake, what? 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 What an earnest that sucks from you. <laughs> <That> sucks, <laughs> dude. That does suck. I feel bad. <laughs> Just an edit of that. 
that saw. Uh, 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 Echo, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reverb. Oh, but mm. yeah, I just, <clears throat> I hope that we, uh, or we're already setting up a good holiday for him. We're proxying the, his decks for him for Christmas and getting them for him. I mean, oh, that's cool. Or actually, I don't know. Maybe there's something, maybe someone's buying him the cards. His girlfriend might be buying them. I don't know. Um, so let me, let me just get something off my chest. I'm gonna get ladies. What do I need to get off my chest, bro? Tell me, Cholito. I will uh, be here for you. I don't know. One of the, one of the more persistent thoughts that I've been having is over the past month, okay, I've had maybe like four different conversations with four different men aged like 40 to 60, let's say. Yes. And there is just, I don't know what is in the fucking water, bro. Oh, no. But, bro, I'm telling you, it is our job to, like, think about the way that we were raised and your parents' parents were raised and all of those things. It breaks my heart for to hear, like, people who are hurting because of the way that they were raised and oh. they know it or they don't know it. Oh, just like we can't raise our kids like like Oh no, just yeah, just like people who are like let me not generalize. People who because perhaps their parents were never open with them about anything that they were going through, they didn't, you know, there were a lot of things that went unanswered in the developing stages of, you know, learning to be who you are that you learn too late. Like, oh my gosh, this was my parent. Like this, these were the quote issues or like realities of who my, who my parent was or the way that I was raised. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but that's just been one of the things that, like, I had some, one person brought it up and was like, yo, like, all of this shit's kind of hitting the fan right now. And, like, the writing on the wall is, I just, like, was moving so fast and didn't really, nobody was really able to, to guide me or help Dang. guide me. And now it's becoming like, and now it's becoming evident. death is like near. I'm, not, not I mean, like, but now like, it may be too late for me to be guided. Make this a may make this like a a worthy, a worthy go swing at it. Like, damn! Like I just like I didn't, yeah. Not to get things too deep, you know, to whatever, but yeah, it's just one of those things that like. Right now, I never think about. I never think about. I mean, maybe sometimes we're like, I don't. I'm not really thinking like, oh, my mom or my dad does th does these things because this, this, and that, or I do these things because my parents this, this, and that. I'm not really thinking about that stuff right now. And then the time just goes by, and you're fucking forty, and then you're thinking like, oh my god. Why am I broken? No, I mean, I don't know. I don't know broken. Like, no, but like, but, why do I act a certain way? Why do, why yeah. is this my reaction to certain things? Yeah. It's mm. just been, I love reading books about, um, like the way people think and why we do certain things. I was, I was listening. Did you know that, um, <laughs> this is going to be one of those fucking podcasts, bro. Um, it's like, did you hear this <laughs> new theory? Many languages have the words ma and pa mm -hmm. as the vowels for, or like the vocals, the audibles for those words, because those are the words that as you develop, as you literally, as your face and mouth structure develops are just the easiest to say. The so mothers and fathers, yeah, just when they were creating languages, were just figured like, oh, that's what, that's what we are now. 
ma, they're saying me. This is what I am, ma, ma. Like, that's what I am. That's that's what I am, mom. When really it's like it's this thing that was just these all these things that are created, all these things that are just arbitrarily created. Jacob, Shakespeare created words. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I want to create a word, bro. Will we ever in our lifetime get the chance to create a word? You have to discover something. You have to like discover something and give a word to the thing. Like you got to find a dinosaur. You got to What's untapped? What 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 can we Everything is tapped, bro. Really? Everything is tapped. Cuz even if you go find something yeah. like America, India. There's other words for those things that came first. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait. I, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. You know what I'm talking about? No, yeah, now I do. Sorry. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Dang. Everything is know. tapped. We can't. I wish, man. I wish there's still some discovery left out there. All the discovery is in computers. Well, there's like, now. there's like, you know, the, the slang words that end up becoming actual words, right? Okay. You can just so start. We just gotta, yeah. We just gotta start tossing around. I'm sorry. Can I say the newest word that was added to the dictionary? Miriam Please. Webster? What is it? Is this... Riz. Oh my gosh. Riz? Are you serious? Wait, what's yeah. the definition though? Yeah, what is the definition? Noun. Because I always thought it was like short for something. Like it was charisma. Noun. Oh, slang. okay. Charisma. Romantic appeal or charm. Hmm. It's but, if I, but the... if I say if I say he's got Riz, that's not that's not a noun, is it? It's a pronoun? a pronoun? I don't know. He's got the Riz. Is it the? I'm no, he's sure. got Riz. It's just, yeah, there's no the. Wait, what, what, what? what about the it's a what noun? After that? Or, what, what, do you, what do you call it? What article is it? Participle? <laughs> this is Merriam <laughs> Webster. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 excuse me. What? What if? What if? If I? If 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 someone yeah, no, said what, like he's got game. Is- what? It, what is that device? Is that a? Is that a pronoun? He's got game. He's got. Oh, I guess if someone says he's got herpes. That's a herpes is a noun. Noun. Yeah. So he's got Riz. It's a thing. It's you know? a noun. It's something you got. Oh yeah, I guess. What does it say in the dictionary? Thing. It says noun. It's it says noun. noun. Yeah, it says noun. Yeah. Person, what's place, or thing. What's and you know what's the next newest word in the dictionary? I can't. Zhuzh. Oh yeah, zhuzh. 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 Noun. A small improvement, adjustment. Like, yeah. Let me just get like a zhuzh more sauce on this, please. <laughs> you're at Olive Garden and they're <laughs> like, "Why does all the time?" It's like, say, say yeah. when you want when you when you want me to stop with the cheese. We're at Olive Garden, right? The cheese. And I said like, just a smudge, bitch. No, hey, just shush. give me one more shush, honey. Shush. Shush. So you can also, I was looking at it, you can uh invent a food or crossbreed up an animal or a plant and you can invent a word there, show a little so dude, that'd be cool. Donkey totally and a fox. Can. In your lifetime, I can see you inventing a word, maybe a new dish. What about yurt? That's Is yurt in the dictionary? Yurt. But I Yurs. couldn't coin that. Why not? Just start coining it. You're in New York right now. Yurt. <laughs> Yeah, for the people. I will. For the people. For Miriam. I wonder who invented the word swag. Soldier Boy, obviously. <laughs> Soldier Boy is the first rapper to invent the word swag. Was it not Shakespeare with some, like swagger? That's a Pokemon move, Shola. What are you talking about? <laughs> you right. <laughs> are you going to Google, did Shakespeare invent swag? No, you know it raises their attack but confuses the Sh- foe? Sholo, you're right. He invented swagger? No one on the corner got swagger. I cock they, my hat as I please. But they kick him to the curb unless they look like Nick Jagger. Wait, what? The first writer to use it was William Shakespeare. So it doesn't really say that swagger was invented by him, but it was first used by him. <laughs> <laughs> he said in a, mid, a Midsummer Night's Dream, he said, read this, read this Jacob. Wouldn't happen home, Spuns. Have you <laughs> swaggering here? So what near the cradle of the fairy queen. Full? What? Bro. Again. What hemp and home? Spuns have we swaggering here. So near the cradle of the queen fairy. Or fairy what? queen. 
Yo, what have we swaggering here? <laughs> For real. No, it's spun what is swaggering here. Oh, spun what is swaggering here. Spun what it that's gonna be my new Instagram bio. <sighs> Changing it. No more horny <laughs> olive. It's already not horny olive. What is it now? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, maybe I deleted it. I think my mom maybe saw it and was like, why does it say that? I think I have that memory, actually. You said you didn't watch the pod, Ma? You didn't drop a like? Didn't drop a like. You didn't drop a subscription? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Just says Nothing? legal. This legal? is the horny olive land. Here, this photo. That... that is the horny olive land. Dude, that's so funny. It's the island that looks like your face. Yeah, that's horny olive that's land. That's horny olive land. Officially. That is. I could just. I just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Uh, I look. I do it too with other things, so I I understand the appeal. But just to think that I I am so blessed with the opportunity that someone gets to type in Sholo on like whatever the the AI the, thinks Sholo Island actor from Cobra Kai as Island for the new oh year. Oh my god! We should try to. I'm gonna try to type in some like really good Sholo Mari doing your prompts. That I think would make you laugh. Oh, dude, I'm doing my uh I'm doing like an official oh shit. That didn't hurt. Okay. I'm doing an official cosplay next week. Official. More official than the last I'm not, one that you because that you name dropped on the podcast. <laughs> I'm not uh I'm not making the costume. That's why it's official. So I'll look cool. Okay. What's the costume, please? Uh, or is, is it a this, surprise or what the heck? It's for what? Is it a surprise or what the heck? What's? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a surprise. So it's another Flesh and Blood tournament. Okay, yeah. Um, I just really look like this freaking hero that they came out with. His name is Max. And so I did the young version of the hero. And my friend Carolina, she's making the old version of the hmm. hero for me to wear. That's why you're growing out your facial hair. Dude, it's it's gotten more filled out right here. It's like and now when I wash my face, I can feel my mustache touch my lips. But there's still nothing in the What is the end goal? Here. What are you just I mean this is this is you're setting a this is a personal record, right? Yeah, this is, uh, I think I'm on I nine and a half it. weeks. This is nine and a <clears throat> half weeks. Lit. Where Lit. else are you? Do you have chin? Um, do you have like a goatee thing going on or do you shave that? I have a little thing right here. Okay. And I have like some blonde scragglers on this side. Okay. But you can't really see them because they're blonde. And I grow absolutely nothing here. and Nothing under. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know why it is that we grow facial hair? Uh, I think it's to keep bugs off us. Do Pretty you have sure. the answer, Sholo? Or are you asking genuinely? Uh, I thought it was for. I don't know. It was. Uh, it's just speculation. It's a. It's a thing that I overheard. That it's because you can take punches that the cultures that were fighting most often that well, chances are if you have a really huge beard lots and lots of facial hair that you will be able to withstand a bigger punch than a dude who has no facial hair at all you're so, saying that's just socially like not no no, no like why we grow facial hair. like from the dawn from like the from the first civilizations that started take that like started being about I don't know that's what I heard yeah well, well Monica has done some research so Monica would you like to share Please. your research according to uh, the beard club it says here correlation men and, <laughs> men well, I can't and read it it's it just says that basically men have beards so that they can have things to talk about with their other guy friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what Jacob and I talk about now. We 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 bonded more. We Jacob? actually have, yeah. Yeah. Just be like, oh, what's up? You got a beard. I got a beard. Wait, we have a podcast. Hey, dude. It's <laughs> a beard. Dude, do you have a beard? beard? Do you have a beard? All right. So we got some unanswered questions. We recently did a Q and A in the last episode. 
Um, would you like? Would you guys like to answer some of them? Hi. Here's one. If you could be any fictional character or anime with their powers, appearance, living in their universe, who would you be? Living in their universe? Yeah. It's not just like you have their powers here, or they're, it's not like you're the character here, but you're in there. Probably like you're in that universe. Brown Finn. I'd be like Finn in Adventure Time. Oh, I was like, he has uh, so many different stuff that happens to him, and that world is so zany. Or Gumball. Uh, that'd be so silly. <laughs> Dude, don't. Gumball's funny. I would be uh, Eren Yeager in Attack on Titan. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, just, you went hardcore. You went like for the plot. Dude, damn. yeah, I just fucking know everything. Hmm. That would I be would cool. Lighter. Or I'd be. <laughs> lighter. Sweaty. Or I'd be. <laughs> or I'd be Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. Um, less. <laughs> yeah, those would be. Love... I mean, Gon and Kilua would be sick. No, I, I would. I, for real, I'd probably pick. Fucking train like crazy. They're I'd probably like... be Kilua. Kilua's pretty sick. He just has that fucking crazy backstory, though. I actually don't know if I want that. Baby assassin. Just getting tortured for like half of your life. Half your life so far. You're still That's a true. That's true. That's true. I mean, pff, what is trauma? <laughs> what is trauma when you're a hunter? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Those are those are some good ones. Or one punch Curse man would be kind of funny. Oh, Curse the Dog would suck. You'd be scared constantly. Well, that's what everyone thinks because they don't understand him. They don't understand yeah, his language. Oh, actually, Gianni and I had a good conversation on this question. Would you rather date an e-girl or an i-lady? You're not going to get me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known. Don't 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 cut it. Roll the clip. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. Uh, that's funny. I had no what idea what that what was. Mean? I'm not gonna get you. What, what Where you did you hear it? Oh, um, I don't know. Being at an all boys school, I don't. I don't know, bro. Uh, I, I felt like I'd heard all of, but dude, the eye, the eye lady. I was like, what the fuck. Don't I don't say it out anymore. loud. Just just for the just people. so people know. If you know, you know. Um, that's funny. One Punch Man would be funny, though. All right. If you could turn into one object, what would it be? A bucket of water. <laughs> what? Is that you know combat? that guy's superpower, the Wonder Twins? He just turns into a bucket of water? In the Wonder Twins? Yeah. There's a, the know. girl, the twin girl, she can shapeshift into whatever fucking animal she wants, and the guy just turns into a bucket of water. No, I didn't know that. Really? I'm pretty sure okay. it's like DC or Marvel. Like it's like a legit. No, the Wonder Twins is DC. I just didn't know that that was their power. That that yeah, was yeah, his yeah. power that he could he turn turned... into a bucket of water. Yeah, I don't know. Like I just comical. Yeah, I, I just think it's funny. What a burden. Um, I think it'd be really cool if I could turn into you... Raphael. Wait, an inanimate object. It has to be inanimate object. Just, just an What's object. Object. A turtle's an object. A turtle is an animal. A ninja turtle. An <laughs> <laughs> animal. I said object. Um, okay. If you object? Turn into any object? Oh, easy. F-22. I just top gun that shit. Is that a plane? <laughs> I know what yeah. I'd turn into. Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even said anything. Yet. <laughs> I know, I know. Say it, say it. If I were, yeah, I mean, actually, the idea that you had about being an F 22 is a great idea. Being something that can go super, super fast would be <laughs> cool. Would be sick. What are you turning into? Um, I would want to be a microwave. I don't know. <laughs> Feeling. If I was a microwave, I could feel what microwaves feel like. 
Would you feel like things feel like? Because Ooh, no, actually, you know what I, I mean. Back, yo, no, 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 no. I got to take it three whole steps bug. back. You got to be. A I want to be a zebra fish because they have more. It's an animal in their eyes than they, we do. So they have I more what in their eyes? See more cones in their eyes. We have red, green, blue, right in our eyes. I think mm -hmm. three rods. They yeah. have like twelve, so they can see shit that we cannot see. Colors and shit that we can't see. I wonder if it'd be disturbing or too bad I mean, that's. Not an object. <clears throat> I'll kill it and make it an object, dog. Oh. Well, then, damn, how very... <laughs> eat it, soul! Oh my gosh, oh, that's the soul out of that That's lobster. the Portuguese in you speaking right now. Okay. Like mariscos. <laughs> Evening shower or morning shower? Evening. Take both, usually. Um, but... Morning. Okay, the thing about morning showers, I do not understand people who only take morning showers because you go your whole day. Doing you just shit. said you're morning shower. What? Didn't you just say you were morning evening, shower? Evening. Oh, okay. You spend your whole day doing stuff, and then you go lay in your bed, and your bed is dirty, and then you get up and go shower for the day, and then you go your whole day with getting dirty. Why would you not... Do your whole day. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Shower and then go to bed. I get the whole you sweat when you sleep, yada yada yada. Okay, so then shower in the morning if that really bugs you that much. You um, worried about your own sweat versus world dirt? I mean, I don't yeah. know what to tell you. I I don't know. I guess I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I've gone on occasion to sleep to do what you're talking about, this gross thing, a day or two, a week. No problem. <gasps> Why? Well, just wash my sheets. I'm not that. It's my fucking dirt. I don't give that's a fuck. disgusting. I never wash. I never have to wash my sheets. Yeah, that's why. That's why my ass is never sick. Because my gut. I just be <laughs> inhaling my <laughs> dirt all day. That's why. You never see me with the sniffles, bruh. Because I don't shower. I don't know. I saw you got COVID one time. One time. You got COVID like 40 times, bro. Yeah. Do we have any other questions? <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure song that you can't help but sing along to? Do we pick them for each other? What? Why would we pick them for each other? I feel like I know one of yours. Oh, no, you know one of my guilty I, I don't... I mean, right now, I don't know... Sure, pick pick yours for me. What's my guilty pleasure song, bro? I just seen you just fucking belt this song. Um, uh, Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Okay. I mean, you put that song on, so that's <laughs> more, that, <laughs> sure. I was thinking it came on in the club. It came on in the club. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, okay. I like that song. I get down with that song. I mean, your guilty pleasure songs. I have a feeling that people really would be surprised, or maybe not surprised, but I am quite surprised at how like profoundly and earnestly you listen to folk and country music, and you're like, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> yeah. And so perhaps those are your guilty pleasure songs. Because like, I don't ever, I don't know what, what the Venn diagram is of like country people and Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand people, but... <laughs> Oh, you feel like I don't cross over into country people territory too much. Territory. I don't know how public you are with your... We've Not mentioned a few folk songs in the pod, but... Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm too much of a country fan, more of folk. I like folk songs. Yeah. I just those, like the guitar. Like, those songs that are like, Sweet demon, hang with an man. I'm just like... Oh, yeah, like, bro, it, that's it sounds wall. good. It sounds good. I like what I'm hearing. My ears are. Hey, darling, it. sleeping on the black top. Hey, darling, running through the trees, honey. <laughs> it sounds like a Jimmy Buffett song. Coyote chewing on a cigarette pack. Young boys going howling at the moon. It's just cool lines. No, it's it sound. It's I'm sure the equivalent of like, maybe not the equivalent, but like someone like a young thug. You know, they're like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like sonically 
the way that I'm hearing it. Or yeah, Roddy Rich as well. I mean, pulling out a coupe at a lot. Yeah, my guilty Here's pleasure songs recently have just been EDM. I've just been listening to more EDM than I'd like to. That's hear. crazy. You just like because there's no words, right? Like it's true like, EDM. I mean, not like boop, 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 nah, not really like that. More like house type stuff. Like what um, is the difference between EDM and house? How, like how, house how, is a subgenre within EDM. But what what does it sound like? What is like? It's not necessarily like? as electric. Some of the house music that I like is more like real instrument percussion based, rather than like an electronic like machine punk? making a. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps someone like a Daft Punk. I don't listen to enough Daft Punk to know, but yeah, I could see that. Do you know where uh, Dave Grohl got his like punk drumming from? Oh, like what oh. genre? Oh my god! I, I saw I this. Heard this. Yeah, he got it from disco. Yes. Yeah, yeah like the Nirvana. Mm. That's disco. The, the, can't like, double, it, yeah. Yeah. the double bass is a disco. Is a disco beat. Mm, He's got a good interview good. with with uh, Pharrell where he talks about that. And I was like, that's wild to listen to disco and be like, yeah. That's crazy. He's one of the goats. Yeah, Dave Roll's sick. I mean, yeah. I love I love Nirvana. I love the Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters are sick. And he's one of... He's a drummer of Nirvana and he's the lead uh, singer, singer right? rhythm guitar on, on Foo Fighters. Yeah. Wait, he's a guitar. Wait, he's rhythm, rhythm guitar? guitar. Rhythm guitar on on. Whoa, Google. yeah, that's cool, dude. He's awesome. Dave I Gold's just cool. figured he did the 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 drumming. No, it was Taylor Hawkins. Rest peace. R.I.P. For a long time. Um, I don't know who replaced him. Actually, what? the what? world may never know. The world may never know. But um, Taylor Hawkins crazy talented drummer. I mean, like to, you know, Dave Grohl was the drummer of Nirvana. Fucking mm-hmm. awesome. And then starts a new band, Foo Fighters. And he's being the lead singer. And so they need a drummer. And to like be the guy that's like, yeah, I'll be your drummer for your band, Dave Grohl. You know, yeah. he's he's super kick-ass. Oh, here we go. John Fries. John Fries. Yes. He recently played with The Offspring. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. I can You're gonna go far, kid. Bum, bum, With a thousand eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? With a thousand eyes. No, no, no. In, in a, a good disguise. In a good disguise. <laughs> disguise. <laughs> yeah. With a thousand eyes in a good disguise. Say that my name. Yeah. What is? What is that? Okay. When you walk away. It's. It's. I don't know, bro. What the fuck do half these like hip hop songs say? You know what I mean? Like, it's punk rock. You just you just scream into it. Right? <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, All right, let's wrap it up, shall we? Should we do one last question and then we we'll got one sign off? Beppo. One last question. What is the most edible non edible thing? Who's asking these questions, bro? <laughs> Who are the last three questions that were asked? Who asked those Johnny. questions? Gianni. They were Gianni. Why did the other if not the <laughs> other question I was gonna ask is just simply it said tops or bottoms? Question mark. Punk beds, obviously. Like we're is that about. is that what I want me to be or I want them to be? It's well, I mean, the fact that you're asking it means that you're willing. So that says enough, Jacob. It means verse. Switch. Um, what do you say? Wow, verse. yeah. Let's. What's um, verse? Is that verse, verse switch? Is when you do both. Uh, I like the other one. Uh, computers. I've definitely bitten my computer out of anger before. <laughs> oh wait, what's the most edible, most non-edible edible, thing? Edible, non-edible thing. Seatbelts. <laughs> True, dude. Yeah, it'd just be. Oof, I'd just be. Acting like the dealer at a casino, bruh. On the, <laughs> I remember I'd be in my in the car. I spent so much time in the car as a kid because my mom would drive us uh, to LA for auditions. And I'd be playing my DS and I'd try to catch the Pokemon, and it wouldn't catch. And I remember I'd be like, fucking <laughs> chewing on the seatbelt in <laughs> anger. I'd be like, Jacob, Jacob. <laughs> 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 I'm just 
joking on the seat, but like, <laughs> uh, yeah, Jacob, stop chewing on seat belts. Um, what else? Chewing on what else? Um, those baby bell red wax things. Oh yes. You know oh, that's about? a good one. We you rip- chew on it. You know the baby bell? How it comes the like, red I wax thing? I I'm saying you chew on the red thing. You never did that. Are you serious? I did not. I didn't know that that was a really? thing. Really? Oh, my I God. shit away. Dude, I would rip it, and it's Pac-Man, right? You do Pac-Man for a little bit, and then once you're <laughs> done with Pac-Man, Pac-Man, you go, oh, no, there's a ghost. Oh, my God. And, go, ah, 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 ah. and then you can mold Wait, it into different whole, things. A whole red, red thing? Yeah. Bro, you're- and you okay, there's, it, or you just no, chew it? No, you don't swallow it. Oh, Bro. okay. It's just like a bottle cap. You're just like- you're Yeah. Just, Bro, okay. okay, also, who the fuck opens him like that? Opens what? No, no, no. Some people are cutting him open like they're a fine cheese. That's totally not. Oh, I can't see. He's going to share right now. A baby bell? <laughs> Look at that. Who does it like that? No, you peel it. You don't cut it like that, like it's a pizza. Well, guess what, guys? It's edible. Wow. Wait, what? It's edible. It's food safe. So it is literally the most edible, non-edible. I mean, it's oh, well, it doesn't. The most edible, non-edible thing ever. It's the most edible, edible thing. All right, next. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this next episode we gotta acquire some baby bell cheese, and I want to. Oh, you can take a bite. I don't want to take a bite. <laughs> you, you, just re- you just remembered it. Yeah, I was like, it. oh, I can't eat cheese. Never mind. All right, let's wrap it up, y'all. All right, thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. I'm here. Wait, uh, we didn't finish. We have this the song of the week, Jacob. Oh my god, I forget know. every fucking time. Yeah, you know, I do that yourself. You know, oh dude, you uh, yes, in one day, and all of a well, sudden, you, the wheels are off. <laughs> last yes. week in the in the Giotti episode, um, I did like my like the very deep voice where I talk like this, and Gianni yeah. thought. It was someone else talking. You thought like Jordan was talking. Oh, you're throwing your voice. Yeah, and I, I was so proud. I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh, it sounds that different. That's sick. <laughs> so that now came out of. I mean, have you ever? <sighs> I've thought about it. Thought about just like what? What if you were to do a movie completely in that voice? Oh, and just Austin Butler that shit, and just be like, yeah, no, I I actually just lived with that character for so long. I just. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work because you do this silly face when you do that voice as well. Well, Your face can't. (laughs) I don't know. That's how. That's how I picture Austin Butler talking. Like I, (laughs) I picture whenever Austin Butler talks. I've seen him in interviews. I just feel like he just does like a, like a face. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I just think it's really funny that dude did a character and was like, "Yeah, I just lived with the voice for so long that you know, just can't get rid of it." I mean, that's like when Lady Gaga is like, you know, I had to go to therapy to get rid of rid of my character. I don't know. I just, I just think that's just kind of funny. Maybe people really do feel that way. The voices. You, the brain plays tricks on you, bro. The brain plays tricks. I, I guess, uh, I guess if you're truly, if even when you rap, you still talk in that voice. I could see where the lines would be like. After you rap, you're like, dude. It, <clears throat> I mean, look, maybe I'm being silly, but just imagine you filmed a movie and you're a method ass actor who never even, when you cut, you go home, you stay in the Elvis voice, you stay in that for a year. You think right away on 366th day, you, you, know your real ass regular voice yes i've had 22 years of speaking in my regular ass voice i don't know maybe i'm really off on that but there's no shot hmm. there's okay. no shot well let's get this man the role yeah we, we gotta find you a good accent though what's the one that you're gonna be stuck with for a year or i guess maybe potentially for the rest of your life make it wise French. French, okay. But French American. French English. Yeah, French English. Okay. I don't know. I just feel like that would be like a fun one to do. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Um, 
Song of the week. I digress. I've been listening to this song a ton um, this week, and I love it so much. It's a very popular song. I want to say it's from the 80s. It's 80s. Let me see if I know it. Uh, sing it, Jacob. Stay with me. My water. My Okay, great. Love that one. In what context do you listen to this song? Um, just driving when it's sunny. Uh, <laughs> sick. All right. Just, I, dude, and, I'll just drive, be driving to the climbing gym. Like, stay with me. Do you turn I it off for climbing? Could you? Right? Huh? You getting up the mountain? You in the Patagonias? <laughs> <laughs> Fall off the cliff. <laughs> Woo! Um, no, just right, just here's, chilling. Here's my song of the week. All right, we're gonna it. have to put it up on the screen because it's that one song. Ready? So that's um, it's like some Spikes family stuff. That's Gotcha Lel. I couldn't tell you the name of the song, but that's mine. J M K M M T M M N M. Mine is, you want to go or can I go? Go. Mine is a long one. It's from the Andre 3000 album that just came out, New Blue Sun. Mm-hmm. And it's called, I gotta take a breath. The night in Hawaii when I turned into a panther and started making these low register purring tones that I couldn't control. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was wild. It's Wait. track number three on the new Andre 3000 album. That's a real song title? Monica, your song of the week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My song of the week is Cherry by Harry Styles. <laughs> Sholo's Sholo's fucking is like, sick of us. Enough of this fucking boy band bullshit. No, I haven't heard this. I don't think I've heard this one. Have I? How, how does it go? Cherry. No. Cherry. No, he actually does. <laughs> cherry. Cherry. I'm going to pop your cherry. I knew you were going <laughs> to All right, sign us yeah. out, boys. <laughs> Well, sign us out y'all that was this week's episode of the podcast thanks for tuning in um thanks jordan monica jacob gianni um who else have we had that's it you know while i've been away so thank y'all for holding it down holding down the fort the set looks nice and um check us out like the video subscribe rate comment do that thing reddit youtube we'll see you next week do that thing chicken wing <laughs> This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos.